Hello guys, I hope that you are doing great today. So um, we are going to talk today about a project that I started around mid-October. I wanted to order a base that was actually um, that would be a custom base, a fan fret, and the shape would be based on another base that I own, another base sorry that I own, uh, named an Alten Jupiter 5, which is a discontinued uh, model and brand is still going on, but it's, it's very small now. Anyway, I bought this base like 15 years ago. I love the shape, I love everything about it, but it was quite a cheap base, and I wanted um, a more fancy version of this base and including some other specs um, like different wood and, and fan fret. I'm looking on the left because actually the base is on the left, you will see it a bit later but, <laughs> but it's already there. So um, for the story like mid-October I contacted several sellers in AliExpress. Uh, one thing that is very important there, like it's my second custom order in AliExpress, the first one was okay but that's good. Uh, and I learned a lot from it, and I ordered uh, another instrument that is actually there, that was not a custom one from China. Uh, but the first thing that is very important is that you need to have a very good communication with the seller. And so that's the thing that I wanted to check actually. So I sent a message to like 5-10 sellers uh, that had good reviews, uh, that were doing custom instruments in AliExpress. And I checked their level of English, how much they were understanding my messages, how much precise was their answer. And, and everything. And among those people, I selected one that was very responsive, very nice. Uh, he proposed me instantly to do um, a CNC blueprint and everything for the model, so it was it was very good. I sent him a lot of photos. He was very cooperative, ready to do everything, and everything could be done um, as I wanted it. So so perfect. We went for it in around mid October. So I placed my order. Uh, the agreement with the seller was that he will send me photos all along the process of the building of the instrument. So at the different step, so I could see the wood, if the wood pleased me, the finish, if everything is going on, and, and, and on and on. Uh, I will put some photos of the different steps just after to show it. Uh, the start was uh, with the CNC blueprint that he sent quite quickly after that we started the talk. Uh, this made me feel very confident because when you have a CNC blueprint, it means that most of the instrument will be made by machine following this blueprint. Uh, hopefully the machine are good quality and so the, the cut should be very precise uh, which is the problem that can be uh, in this kind of instrument if there is stuff that are misplaced like not aligned or stuff it can, it can quickly mess around uh, the CNC blueprint was very good I will add it somewhere in the video <laughs> I don't know yet um, then he sent me a photo of the, of the wood that would be used for the body the first one uh, the wood was looking nice at first and then when he did cut the body shape inside I wasn't that pleased because, to make the story, what were the what were the important point, the key points that I wanted in this base? So a fan fret from 36 to 34, uh, five strings. I want ash body and a black and red cerus, which means that the body will be in black mate, and the cerus of the pore of the base will be open and red. So we'll have a kind of gothic black red from mayonnaise, if you know the finish, uh, which is similar. I really liked in my NS actually a long time ago, so that's why I, I kept uh, this, this image that I wanted. A maple neck, so full maple fretboard and back of the neck in maple. Matching a stock with the fret, with the, the ash wood, which means that there will be some um, some veneer on top of the head. And let me see what's there. Uh, oh yeah, the, the jackpot, I asked also like no plate, I don't like those plates, you know, I wanted the tube jackpot. Uh, about the pickups, it would be two similar pickups that were supposed to be clones of the EMG 40DC uh, because I was planning to replace them, replace them with the EMG 40DC. So I sent him precisely the measurement of the EMG 40DC and he found clones of those ones to add. And on the meanwhile, because there will be this pickup, an active electronic uh, that I didn't check yet because I received the base yesterday actually. And yeah, black hardware, uh, bone nut actually. And yeah, here we are. That was the, the base. So yeah, we went. He sent me the first photos of the body. So now you can understand why it's important because as it's a serious, it will be the, like all the design will be based on the looking of the, the pores of the wood. So it needs to be looking good. And those pores, as you can see in the photo somewhere here again, uh, it was not really convincing to me. And we had agreed to something more like this somewhere. Uh, so he accepted actually to, oh, actually it's not that he accepted, he proposed me to just do another selection of wood with a better match uh, of the wood because 
he actually forgot to give this photo to, to his worker for the selection, the kind of design of the wood that we, we choose. So it will be like my mistake. Uh, let's go for it. So he sent me another piece of wood, which was looking amazing, uh, which would be again somewhere here. And he started to do the body out of it, looking really amazing. I was very pleased with this one. Uh, then he started to work on the neck and it slowed down a bit at this time, um, but it then accelerated it again uh, some, some days later. And so we went step by step. I will put some photos so you can see the different steps and how much like precise was the seller. Like he was sending me message nearly every two days or every two days with the advancement, some photos and everything. So it was really like, like confirmation of every point that it was what I wanted. So I felt really like this, this will to really give you what you want. That was nice. And by the way, I want to say that this video is not sponsored or anything by the seller. I will do some advertise to him, not because uh, he, he gave me something in exchange, but simply because he did an amazing job and he deserved this visibility. Um, so I will give the information about the seller at the end of the video. Uh, feel free to, to ask me by comment if you want some more information. So yeah, here we went. I received the base yesterday. We had agreed actually to, to send it by FedEx, which was already included in the price. Uh, the price of the base was 383 by memory. And I gave him some extra, uh, like $40 more, um, because he proposed me to put the dire strings from the beginning. So it's nice to it avoid me to replace the, the shitty strings that we could receive with a, with a Chinese base. And he also update, upgraded a bit the hardware. He put some made in Korea as well. Actually, there is a brand on it, but I don't know this brand. Maybe one of you can, can tell me, I will put a photo. It's, look, it's looking like a leaf somehow. This is the logo of this brand. I was placing, I was planning to, to replace it as something better, but we'll see. Maybe this one will, will totally make it so, yeah. So here we are, that was the thing. Um, the base was finished, and I will not put a, a photo of the finished base. You will discover it just after in the video, and I will put photos after. Um, the base was finished, he was supposed to send it through FedEx, which was already paid and included in the price of the base. Um, we went through and he told me that unfortunately FedEx changed regulation uh, to send instruments or uh, globally items from China to Europe and they don't accept magnets anymore or they can accept it but you need to go through a special process that will cost uh, approximately 15 or 20 dollars more. Uh, so he proposed me actually to do this process and I would pay the small extra, which is normal because it was not a cost that was not supposed to, to pay by him. And the second option was that uh, he could send it to me by China Air, which would take one month instead of one week, but he could send it with the pickups. Actually, I was planning to replace the pickups myself, so I just told him, you know what, just remove the pickups and send me the base without pickups through FedEx. So the base here has no pickups, but I have EMG, email, uh, EMG sorry, for TDCs that, that will be installed on it uh, very soon, so it was not a problem, it was already the plan. So here we are with the story. Um, we will go back in the past for some seconds, because uh, yesterday I received the base, I opened the package, and, and I wanted to show you the opening of the package. I messed up a bit with the phone, so you will see me open the package, but I will not show the base directly in this video, and we'll jump back in the present, so I can actually show you the base. Uh, for you. So see you soon in some minutes after that you see the opening. Hello guys, I hope that you are doing great today. So I just received the package a bit in advance. It was supposed to arrive this Friday and today we are Wednesday. And the base is here, so I have other plans for tonight. I can't stay very long. So what we'll do now is that we'll do the opening of the base. We'll have a look at it, see how it looks like and I will do a a deeper reviews after that, that will be the same video, but you may see me another day, it's highly possible. So let's move on. In case you're curious, very well packaged, uh, almost shaped made package. Yeah, the package is actually made exactly for the shape, cut exactly right. All right, so now that you have been teased with the opening, I can bring the base in the video. 
I'm not very sure why is the video ending and finishing in terms of, of sight, so I hope that you can see the whole base, maybe I will move a bit without killing my little cat. So here's the base, uh, it's like one word amazing, uh, I have no other word for that. Um, there is not a single flaw in the finish, I didn't find one yet actually. So to summarize what was there, uh, I will do some photos because maybe the video is not the, the very best. Maybe actually I will turn on more light for you that could be helpful. Let me see. Oh, it's already on actually. <laughs> so the base is Ash Body series, black and red. So the pores are actually open so you can feel them when you when you touch. It's not a drawer or something, it's really the pores of the wood. Uh, as you could see with the photo actually of the base before. We got black hardware, we got the maple neck. So you can see if I put it in front of you that it's fanned actually um, in this way. So 36 to 34. I gave the measurement of the neck, uh, which is basically made uh, in, a, in a very similar way as the dingle. That's what I took for my cal calculation, sorry. So I took those, those information I gave him. We got the first fret, which is a nice surprise for him actually, because I didn't ask for it. He just did it uh, himself for free. And we got the matching stock, so ash with black and red series as the, as the body same. So the neck is maple, uh, as much as the fretboard. And, and yeah, here we are. Um, really incredible base actually, like, as I said, there is no flow at all. I had a previous experience where I made another custom instrument in the past, where the base was not exactly what I expected in terms of measurements, and the guy was not speaking very well English, so sometimes I was telling something, he was misunderstanding it, so he, he was doing his best, you know, to fit with, with what we say, just he was not getting what I was doing. So this seller is speaking perfectly English, so um, if you plan to do a custom instrument, I highly advise you to go with the guy. He is like he's answering every day, <laughs> nearly every time of the of the day. I spoke a bit with him personally. Uh, he used to be actually a builder in the company, and he moved to the sales part, which is very convenient because he understands very well what you tell him when you speak about a specific part. He, he gets it instantly because he used to be the one making the the basses or the guitar in the company before. So that's very nice. And I had asked him if he could do a small video. Uh, inside the factory of the of where he made this base for me to put it in this video he agreed for it but unfortunately they just got a lockdown on this city with covid so um, no video for now because he can't go to the factory he will very certainly send me this in a few days so um, if it's the case if he send it to me i will just upload it a bit later so you can have a look at, uh, at it if you want if you are curious but yeah i don't know what to show you more actually on the base um the, the word amazing is the word to use uh, here we have the, the body with the series, black, red, so we have the space for the pickups obviously that I will install a bit later. We got single um, single different bridge for every string due to the fact that it's a, it's a fan fret. So we got my, my jackpot <laughs> with a plate. Uh, we got the hardware. I assume that you removed the pickup but you have let the equalizer inside, uh, which I may get rid of because I will have the the, the AMG GRP, I will not put the pickup for now. So we have the space for our 8, 9 volt actually battery. We have the, um, the bone nut as expected. And yeah, here we go. I will put a custom logo myself. I will also give you a link actually for the custom logo. That's another seller in AliExpress. Um, that makes it, I will just show you in, in another base that I have. Um, it's made of like a very thin layer of aluminium and it's like with, with a sticker under and they can cut very precise shape that you want on it and it comes like with a protection and it's very easy to apply, it's like a sticker but it's very sturdy, I got this one, I have two bases, one is not yeah, actually, it's not in my place but it's, um, it's a silver one, like a chrome one it's very sturdy, didn't get any scratch and in this base, I don't know if it's on the screen actually and, and it's a bit difficult to catch it with this one on my hands but another base that I have there I would just put a, I would just put the photo, it's easier. With a logo that is the same thing, it's a, like made black aluminium plate that has been cut very precisely with the logo. So I will make the one for this one. When I will receive it, it will be added on the headstock here. And, and yeah, here we are. Like the base is, so when it came, when it arrived, actually it was, um, the neck was very tight on the truss rod. Uh, the truss rod is on the headstock, by the way. For the settings i was hesitating between both i have let him choose and he put it in the stock so um, it was very straight to to prevent the neck to do a, any bending 
So when you arrive, you need to like untight it a bit, which is nothing difficult, but if you never did it, it can be a bit intimidating. Like basically, you just need to give it like two turns to, to make it a bit untight. The neck is perfect. The finishing on the neck, like the frets are just perfect on the side. Totally nothing to say about this one. I didn't feel any buzz at all. I think that I can lower a bit the action. It's, it's pretty low already, but I can make it even better. So um, I will work on the settings soon. And uh, but after installing the, the pickups, obviously, because there is no point, I will remove the strings. But yeah, it's just like nothing. Just perfect. Um, in case you are wondering, also because the question has been asked to me somewhere else while I was talking about this bass, uh, about the, the intonation. As it's um, it's actually a fan fret. If it's accurate, I check the intonation is good, very slightly off, but it needs to be set on the bridge. Uh, nothing big actually. It's visible that it's a bit wavy, so I guess just some work to be done here. Um, but no, no, really, like this bass is amazing. I'm very, pre I'm, I'm, I'm just like it's more than I expected in terms of quality. Like what you can get here for four hundred dollar with a CNC design. They make a totally custom. Uh, design very precisely. They gave me the, the wood exactly as I wanted. Like it's a, it's an peak matchbook, you know. That's not something common you will get in any base around this price. Uh, the headstock is also my design. Everything is my design. So basically, they just fall on all my order. It's like a 100% custom base for 400 euro, or slightly more with the with the one I asked for the for the Dadaio strings, including the delivery. Oh, and I didn't tell you the delivery was by FedEx. It came in, uh, well, it didn't sent in Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there was the weekend, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So like four open days and including two days of weekend. It was supposed to arrive on Friday actually on the on the FedEx website, but it arrived in advance, which was a good surprise. So, um, so not totally amazing. If you're hesitating to go with the seller, uh, I can't tell you that what you will receive is perfect because, well, I don't know, I got this example, this base. But what I received here is amazing. The service that I got from these guys, the, the, the quality you know, of the talks and like English talk, are perfectly understandable, perfectly understood also on the other side. Um, the, the speed of the answer and the precision of the answer also and taking in consideration everything. Like there is some small stuff that I told him once at the beginning and you remembered everything. Like for example, the, the plate, I asked him if you could do a, a matching plate, you know, not a plastic one, but in ash, and with the similar finish, it just came with it. You didn't forget about it, it just did it. So, just amazing. Crazy, crazy quality of service. So, well guys, what I propose you is that I will put some photos of the base, so you can have a look at it. Uh, and I will add the link of the shop in the description. The shop is called the Music Zoo, if I'm not wrong, from, from AliExpress. But I don't think that in AliExpress you can actually search the shop by names. So I will give you a link which will be easier. Feel free to just contact the guy, drop him, a, drop him a message, like, if you want something custom, drop him a message first, don't buy something directly, because obviously you need to show him what you want and he will give you the price. Um, this price is for this base with this finish and this wood. They can be stuff cheaper, if you want something more basic, like um, a jazz base or precision base type, it will be cheaper because it will be already like in the shape of something existing. My one was 100% custom with some fancy wood and stuff, so, so yeah, well, guys, enjoy your day and enjoy basing or doing guitar if you're a guitarist. And have a great day.